Hello, today we're looking at cancer and how it can spread throughout the body. But before we do that, we can do a quick recap on the cell cycle. We've done a video on this before, but this is literally a quick revision of that process. So we've got firstly in the cell cycle, new subcellular structures made like ribosomes and mitochondria. We then have the DNA which replicates itself to make two copies of chromosomes. The chromosomes during mitosis line up along the nucleus and get separated to two separate parts of the cell and then the cytoplasm and cell membrane split off to make two new cells and you can see a little summary of that in the diagram above now we could probably tidy up that handwriting a little bit see if this can recognize it as text will it do it awesome good right so um there it's tied up a little bit we just need to add the e back to the separate e back the letter not the qualification and so this is how the cell division happens and this is a very controlled process so the cell, the body is very good at controlling this process to make the cells it needs when it needs them now sometimes things can go wrong and this process goes from being a controlled process to an uncontrolled process and the reason it can become uncontrolled is because of something like carcinogens we mentioned this in a previous video these are chemicals that cause cancer it could be because of lifestyle risks for example smoking which contains chemicals that can cause cancer and also it could be genetic as well so there's various reasons why this process can become uncontrolled and when it does what we get is the cell dividing very rapidly and in, in an uncontrolled way and producing abnormal cells and these abnormal cells or this group of abnormal cells is called a tumor and we can divide the tumors into two main kinds the first kind is what we call benign so benign tumors and the second one is what we call malignant and it's the malignant ones that we refer to when we refer to cancer so the malignant tumors are the cancers and these ones are much more dangerous than than the benign tumors benign tumors we just tend to describe as a group of abnormal cells or a growth of abnormal cells so there we have it, an overview of cancer. And in summary, we can say cancer is the result of changes in cells that lead to uncontrolled cell division, as described above. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.